Kelly Ripa declares, I realize I'm on camera, as she admits she doesn't know what to do during an unexpected show moment. Kelly, 52, and Mark Consulos, 52, were joined in the studio by Maxine the Fluffy Corgi and her owner Brian Reisberg to educate the hosts how to make a viral video. Brian put the corgi in a backpack, attached the pack on Mark's back, had both the host and the dog put on sunglasses, then blew confetti in their faces to create the eye-catching moment. If it feels stupid, you're doing something right, Brian said as he taped Mark. Kelly took a step back as her husband contributed to the mayhem by boarding a scooter while Maxine remained on his back. She appeared overwhelmed as she observed the chaos on stage. I know I'm on camera gelman, but I don't know what to do with my hands, the presenter said as she moved her hands back and forth. Brian said after the video was shot, frequently when you're filming with a dog, like right now, it's going to be a mess, but you get what you get, and you post it, and you hope for something good. Are we going viral? Mark asked the audience. In response, the audience applauded. Kelly's fans have begged for the host to return to live after she was absent during Thursday's broadcast. The TV personality was missing from the show so she could present her game show, Generation Gap. Comedian and presenter Anderson Cooper stepped in for Kelly on live opposite her co-host, husband Mark. On Thursday night, Kelly shared a video of herself on the set of Generation Gap. The mother of three smiled at the camera as she panned it around to the cheering live audience, with her dad Joe sitting in an armchair among them. She posted the clip on Instagram and wrote, Drop it low for a new Generation Gap tonight. The competition features children working with their grandparents to answer questions about pop culture. While many fans praised her show in the comments, others begged for the star to return to live. One wrote, Miss you on live. Come back. Mark is doing a great job. Another added, Why weren't you on live? It wasn't the same. And a third asked, Are you ever coming back? Hours before her appearance on the game show, Kelly was photographed going for a stroll in New York City. Kelly looked stunning in a lace trim floral dress and sunglasses as she soaked up the sun. The All My Children actress has been hosting live with Mark since April when her husband replaced Ryan Seacrest. Big dreams. Kelly recently teased that she might leave her decades long run on the show if she was hit with good fortune. In a previous episode, the soap star told the audience that she might not be here tomorrow. Listen, just so you know, she said as she picked up a piece of paper from the desk. I probably won't be here tomorrow or forever because I'm going to hit the $900 million Powerball. The audience cheered as Mark chuckled. Kelly said she would move to the south of France while Mark stayed in New York to host the show with Jenny Mullen. Nobody will even notice I'm gone. They'll just think I've had work done, Kelly joked. It'll be amazing. I've got this whole thing figured out. She continued, I'll miss you all, but thank you. No one won the Powerball that night, and Kelly returned to the show the following day. NSFW Vacation Earlier this month, Kelly revealed they stumbled onto an NSFW activity while vacationing in Greece. They began by boasting about their recent trip with their daughter, Lola, and her friends, which was a gift for the 22-year-old's graduation and birthday. Kelly and Mark are also parents to sons Michael, 26, and Joaquin, 20, though they didn't attend the vacation. On live, the couple described the gorgeous hiking trails they explored and the wildlife they encountered along the way. I forgot the best part of the hikes. Kelly eagerly interjected. Mark and I went on this other hike at this island, and we accidentally upon a nude beach. I don't mean a topless beach, I mean all nude, total nudity, and it's always guys, and it's always the wrong guys. Mark then chimed in, noting the seemingly normal activities the beachgoers were doing while completely naked. This one guy was doing a conference call. He was literally doing a conference call pacing on the beach naked. He shared. Kelly added, and here's the other thing. Nobody loves these guys enough to tell them to put sunscreen on. Mark explained what his wife was referring to by making hand signals around his crotch. A lot of sun damage, said the Riverdale actor, before Kelly joked, a lot of burnt franks and beans.